G'day Geeks and Gamers, it's Lethal Lightning here, coming to you from Australia, and this one we're going to be talking about this rumour that's been going around a little bit to do with DC Comics. Now this does tie in with what we heard about a month or so ago, to do with Batman becoming a, a person of colour, we're going to have a black Batman come 2020. At the time, I just wrote it off, I thought it was just clickbait, just silly stuff, but with this new information... I'm pretty sure it's real because I think all of this is most likely real. That's just my opinion though. Time will obviously tell. Now this is to do with pretty much all the main characters at DC Comics, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, they're all going to be replaced with new new iterations of these characters. And I'm not talking like a rebooted Bruce Wayne. No, no, no. We're going to they're going full Marvel now. Like Marvel now tried this back in 2012 and it didn't work. It didn't work. The Avengers movie had come out, people were all over it, you know, they wanted, the new people were coming into comics, which I think is great. They go into their store, they pick up a, a, an Iron Man book, they open the page and they see Riri Williams and Tony Stark's just gone and being completely diminished. It doesn't work, but this, it's been tried before, so I don't know what DC is thinking, but let's jump into this. Rumour, DC Comics 5G will give established characters new identities via a crisis level event. Now this comes from Bowding into Comics, a good source of information. A crisis level event, another one, because that's exactly what DC needs at the moment. Another crisis level event. How about we get through Doomsday Clock first? That's only been delayed just a teeny tiny bit, am I right? So a new rumour suggests DC Comics formalising and clean up of their massive continuity and will give rise to Generation 5 and its modern codename, codename sorry, 5G. What's more is it will introduce new versions of old characters. Comicbook.com reports most of its DC heroes will see their roles to younger heroes after some type of crisis level event. Now Comic Beats adds, next year we'll likely see another crisis setting things up combined with hypertime concept to explain in part how heroes who debuted long ago will remain active for so long. So they're trying to, basically DC Comics has been gone for so long that they think that people are just getting a bit freaked out. They go, well, Batman should be in like in his 90s by now or whatever. And they're trying to make that make sense, which I've never really seen anyone talk about that. But it is what it is. So here we go. A previous rumor surfaced earlier this year reported by Bleeding Cool. Oh, garbage dude. That the first sign of this initiative, it held Bruce Wayne would be replaced as Batman by a person of color. The most likely suspect was Black Lightning because of his partnership with the Dark Knight in The Outsiders. By the way, Outsiders has a fantastic interior art. I'm really liking it. And now it's being said by Bleeding Cool that Luke Fox, the son of longtime Wayne comprietor Lucius Fox, will receive the honor after Bruce is presumed dead yet again. You're doing that again. Luke Fox is better known as Batwing. Now, look, here's the thing. If Batman is going to give up the role of Batman, or Bruce Wayne's going to give up the role of Batman, you've got Dick Grayson, you've got Damian Wayne, his son, you've got a whole Bat family, which, yes, Batwing is a part of. But, for whatever reason, if they have to tick some diversity box, and it has to be a black Batman, to me it makes more sense to give it to Duke Thomas. Because at the end of New 52, start a rebirth, Bruce Wayne brings in Duke Thomas, and he says, look, you're not going to be a Robin, I've got my own thing for you, you know, we've got, we've got this own little thing that we're going to be doing with you, you know, you're not really going to fall into the categories of previous sidekicks. Okay, cool, well, that sounds like a good opportunity to take him and turn him into Batman, so I don't know why they're going to make it uh, Batwing. I like Batwing just as Batwing, I think he's a cool character, this, this, this whole thing seems pretty silly to me. Clark Kent's son Jonathan, the current Superboy, and Cassie Wondergirl might follow suit, taking over their respective mentors. So you're not going to have Diana, you're not going to have Clark Kent, you're going to have Jonathan Kent. I really like Jonathan Kent, but I don't like what Michael Bendis has done with him. It's just ridiculous. Now, I do also remember hearing, I can't remember the character's name off the top of my head, I'm having a blank moment here, but the teenage girl that hacked into a Green Lantern ring, because... That's a thing now. She's going to become the Green Lantern with all this going on as well. So you're not going to recognize any of these characters. If you're just getting into DC Comics, this will be really, really bad for you most likely because everyone knows Bruce Wayne's Batman. You know, then you pick up the book and you go, it's not Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Whatever. Now, this isn't the first time I've done that. Obviously, we've had Asriel as Batman, you know, John Paul Valley. That worked within the context though, but this sounds crazy and silly. So... 5G represents the fifth generation of the new DC timeline. Uh, Dan DiDito unveiled DC's planned new timeline that restructures the universe with a new originating point at New York Comic Con. Now, I've looked into this a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of it. 
The first part I think makes sense. Wonder Woman's arrival in America marks the dawn of heroes and sparks the formation of the Justice Society. Her ties to ancient Greece canonize her as the world's first superhero. I think that kind of makes sense, uh, you know, just given, like they say, the whole Greek mythology thing. Superman doesn't come around until Generation 2, the Space Age officially. Generation 3, which includes Crisis on Infinite Earths, everything until Flashpoint, and Gen 4 includes everything after New 52. So that's where we are at the moment. So this, I don't like the way they're doing that. Um, to me, it will always be Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age. I don't like how they're... It's just the best way to refer to it, you know. Now I'm going to have to say uh, Generation 2 Superman when I could just say Silver Age Superman. That makes more sense to me. So, uh, Didido said at New York Comic Con he wants to make DC's continuity less complicated and the mistake of the New 52 and reboots. In general, it's they fail to understand which stories matter and how these characters connect. The co-publisher added he doesn't know what future holds, but there is a high level of planning. Doesn't know what the future holds, but there's a lot of planning. It's a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of an oxymoron. <laughs> so, what do you think of this alleged idea behind 5G? Tell us what you think down below. Well, I don't think it's that great of an idea, to be honest. It, it sounds just all over the shop. Time will tell. Maybe this will work out, maybe not. But this sounds like they're going down the Marvel Now route, and it did not work for them. So, I don't see why it will work here. But that's just my opinion. Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below if you think this is a good idea. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Games and put a big thumbs up on this video. Share it around. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a great day. See you later. Bye, bro. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.